brothers and sisters, I'm coming to you with an urgent word, particularly for those who are working on the front lines, those who are working in nursing homes, hospitals, those who are working in fire departments and police stations. I'm going to give you a quick story. When I was working for the school board, when I was going to school for that particular job, I was part of our mandate or our expectation was that we take um, a vaccine. It costs the vaccine, I think there was a total of three shots in concession spread out over a period of time. They were to fight the, the hepatitis C, I do believe, if I remember correctly. So we were the, part of the things we were supposed to buy, certain textbooks, um, certain docu documents we were supposed to buy, and then we were supposed to also buy this vaccine at the beginning of the year. And then when they, it arrived and they realized that we paid for it, they'd call us down to, for the nurses to administer this vaccine. Now that this is a clincher. <clears throat> Thankfully, I did not take this vaccine. I can't remember why I missed the administration of the um, administering of this vaccine, but I didn't end up taking it. I paid for it, my three hundred dollars, but I didn't end up taking it. Thankfully, now that I know what's going on with vaccines, and the only reason why that we were mandated to take it is because we were frontline workers. We were people that worked with the public on a consistent and daily basis, right? So, um, this is, brings me to my concern right now. <clears throat> Our Heavenly Father led me to understand that um, a couple things. One, that uh, people were going to willingly take this mark, this chip, this overall uh, mark of the BCRFID chip. And um, I just thought to myself, Christians won't. Even Christians who are working in the hospitals eventually will, their eyes will be opened and they'll realize what this is and they won't take it. But now I, I come to a different understanding. You have to really be for our Heavenly Father to not take this mark, and this is why. Uh, I received a uh, confirmation video from a beloved subscriber via Instagram today, this morning, and it confirmed something that was brought to my attention earlier, and that is this. Frontline workers such as nurses, doctors, uh, policemen, firemen, um, social workers, uh, healthcare professionals in every capacity will be mandated to take this vaccine. They will be. <clears throat> and I know a lot of people that I've encountered who are Christian have so far decided they're not going to take it, they will not be taking it, but this is the clincher. This is how the enemy has been working, okay? And this explains why I've had to endure what I've had to endure. In LA, uh, ner um, a nurse or frontline worker was diagnosed with, well, supposedly diagnosed with COVID-19. And what they've done, she, this particular person was in the middle of a divorce, um, or is it, it, or is divorced, and this doctor, her husband, um, decided that they, he was going to go to court and get temporary sole custody of their child because this nurse um, not doesn't doesn't have COVID nineteen, but will be working now that the the um, the system has opened up and people are interacting not virtually anymore but now now one on one in person he was going to take the, their child from her until god knows when and the courts have agreed with this now i believe what i believe is going to be happening is that they're going to come up they haven't said that they have a vaccine yet but I do believe what they're going to do, <clears throat> once all these things start to come, they're going to start to do this with ner medical professionals, frontline workers, police, firemen. <clears throat> and that's why such an attack on all these different professions, that the police, the highlight on the police right now, the highlighting on the medical profession and the integrity of what they're doing right now in relation to the testing and the COVID-19 type of thing. <clears throat> People working in these positions have gotten a comfortable salary to be able to live a comfortable life. And it, it has ex has given them the opportunity to put their children through school and other things, have a cottage or whatever else. <clears throat> people are very, very comfortable in the way they're living right now, to the point where a lot of people know what's going on with the testing and the, the falsification of the results and continue to do their job because they need to pay their mortgage, they need to pay their car note, they need to do other things. Okay? Now, with this <clears throat> recent uh, events sequence of events related to um, apprehending people's children, removing them from their homes because of the potential for getting COVID-19. This is going to push people to make a big decision. They're either going to decide to take the vaccine 
to make them immune to this or they're going to have to step away from their jobs or they're going to have to live without their children. Do you see what's happening here? The enemy is not about family. And amidst all this, there is a, a, a surge, an attack on marriage, an attack on marriage at a degree that I've not, I could not, I cannot believe. Um, our Heavenly Father is not about divorce. He's not about divorce. And I understand people who are Christian have been preached to and told that, you know, like, you know, the husband is abusive, the husband is this, our husband is that. Narcissism can't be um, cured or whatever else. First of all, our Heavenly Father never said that anywhere. He never talked about narcissism. He talked about the Jezebel principality, which is, which, which umbrellas over um, all kinds of evil, uh, manipulation, hatred, gossip, jealousy, that's all under Jezebel, pornography, pedophilia, all malicious, evil, wicked spirit, okay? And I will speak more about that in relation to CERN and the gateway that has been opened through sci scientific means in Sweden. Um, the video that I did, the live that I did yesterday, like I said, was deleted, and and I do believe it was deleted in this house. There is uh, a media casting um, system in this house somewhere that when it can connect to my phone, I actually have a screenshot of it. I think I'll put it up in here somewhere. So yeah, they're closely monitoring what I'm doing, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. The days of you deciding what's private for you are over, okay? It's been over for you for a long time, but now you're gonna realize how over it really is. There's not such thing as privacy that never has been. It's an illusion. You've been studied, and your preferences have been documented and, and um, filed away for a very long time. This is the time to make a decision about who you serve. Our Heavenly Father said he would send strong delusion. It takes faith beyond what is what you are used to, to stand for righteousness in this hour. The, the, the scripture that I that brought to mind was when Daniel was in the lion's den. And um, he was there because he continued to serve and worship three times a day, um, despite what rules were put in place against that, because they have conspired against him. You are being conspired against, okay? You are being, you've been studied, just like Daniel was studied. They know what your weaknesses are. And now it's time for you to decide who you truly serve. If you think that their life, the way that it was before this supposed pandemic is how it's going to be, you're sadly mistaken. You really are. There's a lot to pray about. Anyway, that is, that's what I'm going to share right now. I'm going to put a couple links to some of the articles that I came across in the description box. Please feel free to search them. And I know once you, my subscribers, once you start to become familiar with searching and finding things out, you also too maybe find things a little bit more difficult because then you become more informed and they don't want that, okay? It's not, it's not pleasant, but it's a part of your walk. When Jesus was here, he went through a lot of adversity, a lot of persecution, okay? Anyway. I love you. Our Heavenly Father loves you so much more. Continue to stay vigilant. Be wise. Question all things, okay? And pray. Bring all things to the altar. Even what I'm saying right now, bring it to the altar and ask our Heavenly Father if it's true or not. All right? Remember, you're made marvelous. I love you. Until next time, be blessed. Mm -hmm.